I'm the associate director of the show, so uh, I was have been with it since the workshop and uh, have gone through the process up until the opening on Broadway. And then myself and Rusty Mowry, the associate choreographer, we maintain the Broadway company. Um, and subsequent productions, we help mount like the US tour. We've been to Korea and done a production all in Korean. Can you describe your career and the day-to-day -day work that you do? A day in the life uh, in New York when we're not putting up another company um, can entail uh, auditioning replacements for the Broadway company. It can entail understudy rehearsal for the for the understudies in New York. It can maintain it, it can entail uh, maintenance rehearsals for the Broadway company. Uh, and then we watch several shows during the week and take notes. What are some of the unique challenges that you had to face when working on this show? The vocal demands are great, but then once you cast the vocal demands, because logistically they have to be able to do that, then you think, now I hope that they can act. <laughs> you know? it's, a, it's a casting challenge. What is your training? I haven't really trained as a director at all. I mean, I, I like I said, I was a, I was an actor for 17 years, and uh, and my training has been sort of on the job training. I worked with Jerry Mitchell um, twice as an actor. You know, knew that he had made a similar transition from a performer to a choreographer to a director, and uh, reached out to him when when this became interesting to me and, uh, and said that I would really love to, love to work with him and, and he, you know, he really took a chance on me. Did you always know you wanted to do this job? One conversation I had with a friend one time when I was in a show and really frustrated by the process and, you know, and I said, I just don't understand in this scene, you know, the, the, it's so darkly lit, you can't see anything. This person is moving on every laugh line they have. And, they, and he looked at me and he said, you know, that's not your job. But it could be if you wanted it to be. And I thought, huh. And then uh, I was doing a production of City of Angels, playing a great part in a really good production, having a good time, but just something was was missing and uh, and I remembered what it felt like to when I was on the Legally Blonde tour some of my friends who were going in for auditions and stuff would ask me to, to do coachings with them and I remember the satisfaction that I got out of that and it was just a satisfaction that I began to have on that side of things that I wasn't getting as a performer what support mechanisms are important to have in place at any age, but particularly for up-and-coming artists? I have parents who were extremely supportive, but I would say that most of my friends probably couldn't say that same thing. I think the majority of people that I know had a tougher rather than easier road in this in support so just knowing that you're knowing that you're not alone and knowing that there are plenty of people who are on the other side who didn't initially have it but but found it in other in other ways jane fancher a teacher of mine who i still keep in contact with um, she called my mom and said, have you ever, has DB ever expressed interest in taking acting class? She said, no. She said, you know, he, he's sort of a ham, you know, and you know, at family functions, we'll get up and sing and, you know, show off, but he's never expressed interest in that. And she said, <laughs> and Miss Fancher said, well, he's really good at it. He's really serious about it. He gets mad at people when they don't know their lines. You know, he's really like, disciplined and and so my mom asked me she, you know she said miss fancher called and she said you really like acting in this you like doing this play in school and i said yeah i think i do and she said well do you want to take classes at a 
theater, at a community theater, and I said, yeah. So I started taking, taking classes. What skills do you need in your career? Communication is vital. Uh, patience. Uh, being able to uh, to not get flustered, I think, because there's always, always something you have to adjust to. I think that it certainly helps you as a director to have been a performer, to have been an actor, to know what it's like to to be on stage. And I think it actually help. You know, and I think the actors shows you know how you like to be communicated with so you do that in turn and they trust you because they know that you've been there so they know you know what it's what it's like who are some of the other professionals that you frequently deal with the person that I'm most connected to is Jerry Mitchell who is the director and the choreographer and so it's my job and Rusty Mowry's job to uphold his vision. What would you say the less glamorous parts of your job would be? Although the, tr the travel is, is part of the glamour of it in a, in a way because we get to go to amazing places. You know, being away from your family, you know, my, my wife is in Chicago right now. She's a stage manager on Jerry Mitchell's new show, On Your Feet, and I'm here in Toronto. So our, my parents are taking care of our dog right now. Was there ever a time where you wanted to give up on your career? And why didn't you? I think it becomes even more uh, frustrating sometimes when it feels like a job, because it's a foreign feeling. Because it's, what, wait a minute, a job? But then you have to sort of say like, no, this is your job. You know, when, when it's going well, it's fantastic. But when, you're, when your passion and your love is hooked into your vocation, that can cause some feelings that I think th most people don't feel to the, they, they don't feel to the degree that we feel because they're not lucky enough to do what they love to do. What are the differences or similarities of working on a big Broadway show or a smaller production? Probably the supr more surprising thing are the, the similarities. I mean, the, if you look at it as what are the differences, the differences are obviously enormous in many ways. But the similarities are that it's a group of people getting together for a finite amount of time trying to do their, their best, encountering problems every day, trying to over, overcome those problems. You know, there's never enough, no matter how much you rehearse, now the show's never finished, it just opens. What is your favorite part of your career? There is nothing like seeing the growth of a cast and maybe a particular performer there's nothing like seeing that process from the beginning to when you get in front of an audience. And there's no satisfaction that I've ever felt as an actor that compares to feeling like that you helped create something and you helped, and you helped somebody, maybe even a particular performer, you helped them grow.